Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the introduction to trust. So let's start with the video. See, what is a trust? If you want to define it, what is trust? See, trust is an assembly of beams and other elements that creates a rigid structure. That is a very simple definition of trust. It is what? It is just an assembly. See, we connect these various members. This is one member, ridge board, this purlin, this clit, uh, purlin clit. Then there are so many members. This is principal rafter. So, after connecting them together, this after connecting this all assembly, it will act as a rigid structure. It will create one rigid structure and that is nothing but your truss. Okay. So, in engineering, what is truss? It is a structure that consists of two force members only where the members are organized so that assemblage as a whole behaves as a single object. Now it says in engineering it, is, it will be defined as it is a two force members. Now what is two force members? See your truss member will be either subjected to the compressive force that is first one and it will be subjected to either tensile force. It cannot carry or it will not be subjected to bending moment and shear forces that you have to remember. We will only apply or we will only design it for the axial forces and which are those? We will be designing it for compressive, either compressive or the tensile one. We will not design it for the bending moment. That's why it says two members force only. Where the members are organized so that assemblage as a whole behaves as a single object. Obviously, if you assemble them together, it will behave as a whole. Then, a two force member is a structural component where force is applied in only two points. That's what I am saying. Either it will be a compressive force at this point and this point, for example, this point and this point. So, that will be compressive or tensile, whatever is the nature. Then, trusses are most commonly used in bridges, roofs, industrial sheds, and towers. See, practically, you may have seen this type of members and these are nothing but the trusses. So you may have seen it in the bridges, in the roofs, in the industrial sheds also, in the towers. So they have wide range or wide variety of the applications. You can it, use it in the bridges, you can use it in the roofs, in the industrial sheds also, in the towers also. So it has wide variety of applications. Then. A truss is made up of geometry of triangles joined together to enable even distribution of weight and handling of changing tension and compression without bending and shear. See, what is that is what I am saying. It is a geometry in which triangles are formed. See, if you observe it properly, there is one triangle here like this. There is another triangle here like this. So, if you take generally a typical truss member it will have certain triangles even in this also you can see here there is one triangle here there is another triangle here there are so many triangles obviously all the members are triangle here so simple truss like this also for example you may have seen this type of trusses also like this so all this will have certain triangles here like this so what that is what it says it says the truss is made up of geometry of triangles they are joined together and it will enable the even distribution so the load which will be applied over this it will be evenly distributed over all the points and finally it will be transferred to the column and from column to the beneath structure that is to foundation and the subsoil and without any bending obviously and shear then the main reasons for using the trusses are so what are the benefits or why we use generally the trusses see there are so many uses first one is the long span see if you want to have a large column free area as you can see here the span is almost more than 15 meter or it it will uh, let us assume that you want to construct it for more than 15 meters so if you go for the conventional method that is if you go for the rcc one it is not possible to provide uh, this large spans without any column free area you will have to give support in between this but in case of trusses you can give a large column free area and you can have long spans that's why it is used in the industrial floors because in industries there are heavy machines big equipments which are require column free area that's why we will use 
the trusses so that that is the first main reason for using the trusses that is long span then they have lightweight because as the sections are used indian standards various sections are used and they are obviously the lightweight one so that is one big advantage you can say then reduce deflection compared to the plane members if you compare this uh, truss with respect to the plane members you will find that these members will have reduced deflections as compared to the plane ones then opportunity to support considerable loads they will be there are various types of load dead load live load imposed loads that imposed load or live load then earthquake load wind load you can design it for the various types of loads and there is big opportunity you can consider various types of even snow loads can also be considered but all these loads has to be transferred either point means on these nodes you have to transfer this load it will be converted then we will see this actually this calculations of dead load live load what is imposed load or live load how you can calculate even wind load can also be uh, calculated so how to calculate that how it is uh, converted to a panel point means on a particular point i will tell you in the next videos then uh, the external forces applied to the system and the reactions at the support are generally applied at the nodes that is what i am saying at this point these are uh, these points are nothing but the nodes means in this for example this is the diagram this one will be called as nodes so on these points your load is applied and finally they transfer this and they convert this into the reactions okay so this is just a simple introduction related to the truss what is truss that we have seen why we use this truss what is the main reason of using the trusses that we have seen so this was the video on introduction to the truss thank you